Hi there, Mike Giannotti, and I'm very excited to be here right now with you for another HLS Show Me How video. This is pretty cool. So today you can get started using generative AI, and I've done a number of videos on that around how you can use the one for uh, the Bing, right? One that's in line in uh, your Edge browser. But I'm gonna show you how you can take it a step further with just quick one click, boom, generate, populate the content into a document. So we're gonna come over here. I'm in my OneDrive, I'm in a demo folder, so nothing uh, that I have to worry about getting out is over there. I'm gonna go ahead and click New. We're gonna click Word Doc. So we're gonna do this in Word right now. And there it is, it's opened up. I'm ready to begin typing. Now we don't have Copilot yet, but that's okay. I don't need Copilot yet. Copilot does some really great stuff. I've got it in preview. <clears throat> We're not leveraging it here in this environment. So from here, I'm gonna come on up. And if you remember from my other videos, check the resources below. If you don't, um, there is, you can come over here and mouse over the discover icon for Bing. And here you can see I can chat, I can compose or look at insights. There's no insights on this doc because it's empty, um, but we're gonna compose. So I have something I had to do and it was all around how Microsoft Viva can help organizations. So I put my text in there. I can then pick the tone, professional, casual, enthusiastic, informational, funny, the format, a paragraph, an email structure, a blog post, ideas. I'm gonna go with the blog post just because it's a little longer, more like a short essay here. And then the length, short, medium, or long. I'll select medium and we're gonna click generate draft. Now, it's begun to go out, look at information, the generative AI language model understands what I asked and it's gonna struct, there you go. It's already taken my piece that I asked it and it's starting to write about that. But what you'll notice is down below it, there is a button that says add to site. Now, previously I'd clicked that when I was out on the internet, nothing happened. And I was like, oh, but then today I actually was working on a Word doc and I was like, hmm, I wonder, I was doing it through the web view. There we go, it's finished writing up. And I clicked on that whole add to site. And so it populated it. So here's all that content, add to site, done, look at that. But not only that, then I tested it and I said, well, what about a SharePoint post? You know, if I'm doing blog, if I'm doing posting internally, maybe for our corporate communications or whatever, I might want to leverage uh, the AI to do the bulk of the work. And I go through, edit, add some additional color commentary or whatever, but have it handle the bulk of things. Same thing. So watch this. So not only has it populated a Word doc for saving, I'm going to come over here. Now we're in my internal blog at Microsoft, the Michael Giannotti Cafe. And I'm gonna come on over here and say, I wanna add, this is what we do, corporate com, right? We're gonna add a news post. I can pick one of my templates. I'm just gonna select the bare bones one cause I'm not gonna, I'm gonna delete it. And I can add a title here. I'll just call this demo. And I'll go ahead and click into my text box. So there it is, we have another text field. Now this could be your public WordPress. You know, if you had WordPress out there, if you've got some other system you're using, as long as you got a text field and you're within the same browser window, like we are here, right? I'm gonna come on over, add to site. Done. Guess what? It also looks for works for Outlook Web Access. So if I came back over here and I said, hey, I wanna generate an email, I could say generate draft. It's gonna generate an email off of that. And then that, if it's more of an email format, and then I could take that. Here we go, subject, dear colleagues, as you may have heard. So it's generating an email. Oh my goodness, are you kidding me? Look at that. And then the same thing works if I do Outlook Web Access. Now I'm not gonna bring that up because then you'll see email you shouldn't see, but you get the idea. This is unflipping believable. It is awesome, right? So use generative AI, check the resources below to make sure you get it properly, uh, you know, get it set up so it's in line in your Edge browser. 
and then go go to town. Get more productive. Get more done. I've used this so much in this last week. It's been crazy. Um, but here I'm even more excited because one last step to do. So with that, this is Mike Giannotti saying Microsoft Generative AI is the bomb. Jump on board today. Get ready for Copilot tomorrow. Have a great day. Take care. And as always, ciao.